Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. So guys, as the title says, my giant centipede has molted. Now it molted around about a week ago and you can just see the molt. It's just down the bottom there. And if you didn't know, and if you're new to centipedes, centipedes always eat their molt to regain energy and moisture back into their body. So if any of your centipedes molt, please leave the molt inside. So let's take the enclosure off the shelf and uh, let's take a quick look around and hopefully we can see the centipede. So guys, there is a close-up of the malt and you can just see the legs just round here and there is part of the, the body and it looks like it's uh, been eaten all the way along here as well. So I'll probably take that out now uh, if I can locate the centipede. I always like to know where the centipede is so if it decides to bolt out somewhere I know which side of the enclosure it's going to come out so yeah there is a close-up of the malt so while we're here guys let's have a quick look round and hopefully we can see the centipede so guys this is the left hand side of the enclosure and you can see how it's been digging and this is why I always put loads and loads of substrate for a centipede this big I'd say around about 8 to 10 inches of substrate because this centipede has got to be around about the 10 inch in body length now so it's not on the left hand side so let's just check the back of the enclosure and here is the back of the enclosure and you can spin digging just around here as well so it's not around here uh, the, the enclosure is looking a bit dry so I'll give that a good mist a little bit later and this is that piece of cork bark that's at the back of the enclosure so it's not round there so hopefully it should be on the right hand side. So guys this is the right hand side of the enclosure. And you can see it's been digging absolutely loads. So it's not round there. Oh there it is. I've just seen it. I've just seen the leg sticking out. There it is guys. It's underneath that cork bark. At the back of the enclosure. So hopefully let's try and take a closer look. So guys, as you can see, there is a centipede underneath the cork bark and it's doing perfectly fine as it's moving around. So I'm just shining the light so you can uh, see some clear footage. So like I said earlier, this centipede has to be around about the 10 inch in body length and believe it or not, it can actually get bigger than that. It can get at least to about 12 inches in body length. So these are huge, huge centipedes. So like I said earlier, Let's get my spray bottle and give this enclosure a mild spray because it's looking a little bit dry and I'll fill the water dish up as well. So before I give the enclosure a spray I just wanted to have a quick look on the other side of the enclosure and you can see them beautiful vibrant colours now if my camera would focus. Thank you very much. So yeah hopefully it should start to come out in the next week or so and start searching for food and when it does I'll give it a feed so yeah let's get my spray bottle and uh, miss the enclosure So guys, as you've just seen, I have given the enclosure a good spray. So the last thing to do now is to fill up the water dish. And I've gave the water dish a good clean as well before I fill it up with water. And while I've been spraying the enclosure, I just kept an eye on the centipede just to make sure it don't come out of either side of that cork bark. So yeah, there we go. That should be perfectly fine. So the last thing to do now, guys, is to put the in 
the lid on the enclosure and put it back on the shelf. So guys, as promised, I did take the malt out and the malt measures at about four inches and it's eaten around about five to six inches of its malt. And like I said earlier, it's just to regain energy and moisture back into its body. So if you didn't know that this enclosure here has a double lid, there's one just here and there's one just there. And two reasons why they've done this. It's for extra security reasons and plus what you can do is you can open this lid here, drop some food inside, close this one down and then you can just open the second lid and let the food fall inside the enclosure and that just saves putting your hands in the enclosure every time you feed your actual centipede. And also guys at the back of the enclosure this is where the ventilation is and it's got a double mesh as well. And a few times that the centipede has walked around it's tried to bite through this mesh and it's got absolutely no chance, which is always fantastic to see. I don't really want a 10 inch centipede escaping and walking around my house. So this enclosure here is made by Custom Aquaria, fantastic company. And if you ask them for any kind of measurements that you need, they'll make it to your requirements. So let's get this enclosure and put it back on the shelf. So everyone, with the enclosure safely back on the shelf, I'll give it another five to seven days and hopefully the centipede will come out and start exploring its enclosure again and hopefully I can give it a feed. So I hope you enjoyed this video everybody and thanks for watching everyone.